Well, hello guys, welcome to episode 73 of The Rock uh, on the Custard Prophet. So, after playing the Red Imps in the last episode and beating them, we're playing them again. And we're playing them in the Cup semi-final. We're in the Rock Cup semi-final. So you can see here, the other semi-final has been played. Uh, it was between the other well, we actually know, I think Mons Calpe are fourth, but the fifth place team in the league and Europa FC squeeze past Gibraltar Phoenix. So whoever wins this has the tough task of playing Europa FC in the final. Eek. Let's, uh, we've played one game since last we were together. We played Manchester 62, who were bottom of the league. You'll notice that we had Matty Mason out. We also had uh, Dick Barton, special agent, out. So we had to play Dobinson in there. It's his first start, I think, ever. Uh, we also got DeBadge on. He had two assists, which was pretty damn good. And uh, Busto got a rare game. So all in all, very, very good. Okay, so after DeBadge's heroics, he gets a place on the bench because we still uh, have... Because um, Smullen is out... Uh, Get rid of the under 20. So yeah, Smullen is uh, suspended. He got a yellow card in the last episode. And Chrissy Reynolds is still out injured as well. So, uh, yeah, DeBadge has the opportunity on the bench. Uh, actually, that's what we want to do. Matty Mason comes in. There we go. Um, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Uh, the other change we've made was Freeman for Busto. If we can win this, it would be utterly outstanding. Because uh, we've now we just had a, another record that we've broken down. We have won seven games on the trot. We've not done that before, so that's good. I think this is going to be a challenge. They got Lee back in the side. He always causes us uh, some trouble. But Chamberlain had an absolute cracking game last time. And the one worry is we we are missing uh, Crisp and we're missing Smullen today. So that that's going to definitely set us. Back. PG Tips got a goal in the last episode, which was which was nice, but we're already at a corner. PG Tips, it's off the post. Unlucky. Great start. Great start. It's amazing how well we've done in this cup. Every single year we seem to be doing well. I don't think we've gone out in an early round yet. It's been impressively done all every single time. Pike. Oh, it's great. Scott. Over the top. The amount of the amount of times they have popped that in the back of the net from there has been ridiculous. Right, so Freeman plays it forward. Not the best of balls, but Scott's got it. Is he going to play another ball over the top? Pike. Inside. Didn't expect that. Dick Barton, special agent. Smith's got it this time. Playing it around. A creef. Chips it in. Is it a penalty? It's a penalty, you know. It's a penalty. That's just what we want. There's no Smullen on the pitch, so who's going to take it? It's someone blonde. I don't even know this. He looks enormous. Matty Mason. Oh, he gets the goal. Matty Mason with the penalty in the cup semi-final. Well done, my friend. Very, very good. Well, what a good start. What a good start. We'll praise him. Ooh. I mean, it's been a tough... Because we beat Mons Calpe in the last round. I mean, it's, it's been a, as tough as you can get. I forget who we played in the first round, but it's not been easy. Scott, he turns the other way. I didn't expect that. PG tips. Outside to Pike. Pike into Scott. Is he going to shoot? No. He switches play. A creef. Lovely ball into Scott. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, we've had our chances today. Chip in there. It's, it's in. It's an own goal. It's an own goal. Wow. No, he gets the goal. Dick Barton, special agent, is given the goal. I have no idea why. You see the ball come out here into Matty Mason. A creef chips it over. Barton makes the header and it's off the goalkeeper. That has to be an own goal. But, you know, if they're giving it to Dick Barton, we will not complain. So, good, good start. Another good start. Let's hope we can hold on to this start. I mean, they haven't looked in it at all, which has been... I mean, it's a completely different performance from Lincoln. Although, here we go. 
Ooh. Yeah, 2-1. They were just right there. I mean, uh, defensively, we just weren't they weren't in there. I mean, the, uh, yeah, they, they were switched on. We weren't. It's disappointing. It's 2-1. Can we make it through? We've got the badge and Dobinson on the bench. It's not... It's it's not what you'd want, is it? I mean, Dobinson isn't bad, but he's not um, he's not amazing. Right then, so two one after half time. Can we keep our run of wins going? We can still improve. We we you know I didn't feel. I mean, they had one chance. It was a fairly good chance, and it was because they were um, on the ball, literally. But. Um, yeah, we just need to keep keep concentrating and and hope for the best. Right, and Chamberlain's got the ball. Oh, didn't matter. The crease looking a little bit knackered. I mean, we could bring Busto in at left back, but I don't know. Pike's got the ball somehow. Scott, it Scott's got it back into a creef. Back to Scott into a creef back to Scott come on guys into Pike Pike's off the bloody pike. how many shots we've really peppered the goal today really nicely played I mean Scott and Pike are just outstanding I'm going to, I'm going to praise them I'm going to give them some praise hopefully no they're overwhelmed bugger overwhelmed and nervous right we're going to do that I'm going to bring on Busto for a creef. He can play there, which is the important thing, but I think a creef's looking fairly knackered. Busto's got a few legs in him. A few legs in him. He's got two legs at the bottom of him, but he's he, he's um, fairly fit in comparison. And you wonder whether we should be thinking about bringing on a midfielder as well. But here they come. West. Great save from Chamberlain. That was an absolute corker of a save. Right, let's demand more right at the end here. Not quite sure what I want to do at this point. We go back to balanced, I think. Um, what, what now? But they've got 87 minutes in. Johnson. Mr. Johnson into Lopez. Lopez, is he going to break Hound Dog's hearts? No, it's Johnson again. He, oh, he has a shot. The computer dies. I think that put the goalkeeper off. Oh, just ridiculous. Chamberlain. Let's have a look at that again because I, I, hopefully that doesn't come out like that. But it just kind of glitched the computer did a bit. Oh, he should have done better. All those saves he made and then let that one in. That's not very good. Well, they're looking knackered in defence. I mean, we are as well, but... Extra time. Do I want extra time? Like heck, do I? Show some passion, guys. <sighs> I'm tempted... To bring on, yeah, we'll bring on Acris for Great Scott. Some legs and some passing ability in midfield. Pike. Oh, that's, that's a rubbish camera angle. It looks like all the world we'd have got that in. Ah, oh, dear, dear, dear. Chances. I think we deserve it, but they're going to get the ball off us here. It's Phillips. Are they going to do the typical thing? The Lincoln Red Imps win. Oh, that late goal. That late goal. Chamberlain should have saved that. He should have saved it, but he didn't. And they've got a chance, and they've put it in the back of the net. And that is disappointing. That is hugely disappointing. And we're 3-2 down. And we're not going to Wembley. Well, we're not. We wouldn't be going to Wembley. We'd be going to, what was it, Victoria Park or whatever it's called. Oh. Not good. Not good. Right. 
What can we do? Smith's having a bit of a bad one. I'm going to bring on the badge. I'm bringing the badge on. The badge is on. Right, come on. He did. He, he set up two goals in the last game. Can the badge do the business? Do the business. Right, come on. Come on, the badge. I mean, admittedly, it probably means he'll have to take a penalty, which I, I don't relish. Oh, come on. Come on. They've got the ball back. It's West. Ah, Hefele. And we're just pushing up a bit. It's giving them a bit of room behind. And Chamberlain does make the save, though. Come on, one last chance for us. That would be a lovely. A lovely. Uh, Chamberlain has got that, though. Right, we'll go very attacking right at the end here. Can we just sneak one back? I think we're looking too knackered now, unfortunately. Too knackered. And, uh, yeah, the Red Imps just did us in the end. Lucky goal. Poor goalkeeping. In, but after he, after the things he's done, I mean, you can't blame him. And it, we've lost. I'm not going to say we were happy. But it was close. We played well. Uh, and it was a tight old game. And you'd expect nothing else. So the Red Imps march on after extra time. We gave it our best shot. And uh, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. But, um, yeah. I hope, well, we're, we're going to come back in next episode for the last couple of games of the season against Europa FC and... Uh, St. Joseph's to see whether we can finish above Lincoln because they, fair enough they can win that but then you know if we beat if we if, if they lose one of their games we could slip by them as long as we beat Europa FC it's going to be a toughie but uh, what we'll probably do we'll probably play the Europa FC game if we win that if we if we still have a chance we'll carry on if not then we'll probably call it there and, and come back for the uh, end of season awards okay guys well if you enjoyed that it's a loss it's disappointing all that that big run of green and yellow has ended but it was a good game so that's that's the important thing so i uh, please hit that like button if you enjoyed it uh if you want to see more and uh, you haven't subscribed already make sure you subscribe go and check out the playlist and i'll see you very soon goodbye